Today we're going to talk about coloring eyes. I wanted to do a more detailed version of the coloring uh, tutorial that I did before, but on you know focusing on the eye because there are different ways you can do it. And I have taken a old drawing here and you know I did this. I did a more a clearer version of one of the eyes. You can see the sketched version here on the left, but the right eye here or her left eye is more clear and empty. So we can, you know, do some experiments and show how you can color the eye. As you can see, I have the inks layer here. So we're gonna go with that. Uh, and we're gonna do a layer beneath because you can see I already put the white in the eye here and white in the socket so to speak and we're gonna do a layer beneath inks and we're gonna call it green because that's the color the eye has in this drawing so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna go and pick the green and i'm gonna go and actually change a little bit from what i have in the original here uh, but I am gonna go on the green layer and I'm gonna go like this and we're gonna go and just mark everything so we don't get anything missing and we put some green into it so now we have the eye uh, white and the pupil green and the black is gonna stay black or in this case it's a, a little bit more reddish black but you know what I mean now from here, we're gonna do the shadows. Uh, usually when I have it, I have a shadow color here, which you can see, uh, this one right here. Uh, and it's usually a bit of red, brown-ish. Uh, there we go. And I'm gonna do some shadows. And I'm gonna put the shadows, and uh, let's see, we can put it underneath inks. So here we go, we put the shadow above the green, of course, and I'm gonna go to around 40, 39. Let's go 39 for this one uh, and multiply on the layer. I'm gonna take one of the brushes here. I'm gonna take the G pen brush and I'm just gonna go right above here. And you can see this is the eyelid the shadow of the eye because as you can see I've done a very thick line up here which is supposed to be sort of the eyelid but you have to remember the eye eyelid gives a shadow so you have to do that but I am not gonna uh, do too much uh, because I want it to be very minimal because the eye is supposed to be very open and very happy so therefore not much shadow here Usually I do more shadow if it's something that's above or if, she, if the eyelid is going down. Then I will push the, uh, the shadow of the eyelid more down to make it more dramatic. Uh, above this, uh, no, let's put underneath that shadow layer, we're going to put, let's put pup shadow. So now we're going to make another shadow layer, but for the pupil, the green area. Okay, the former shadow was for the eyelid that goes above the whole eye, the white, the green, everything. But now I'm gonna do a for the green area only. And we're gonna go multiply and we're gonna go back to 39. Okay, put the same color, doesn't have to change. You can put it into a darker green if you want to. Uh, but since we're on multiply and we're in a low opacity it usually works as you can see we're gonna get some darker effect because we're having two shadows multiplying on top of each other so we get a sort of like this now what I'm doing is that I'm actually doing a kind of sh round shape uh, on the pupil to show that the eye is bent but also you know following the structure of the eye it's round like this so I'm going round like that, okay? Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the first shadow, the eye shadow, and I'm gonna go and do 
a Gaussian blur. I'm going to make it a little bit softer. Same thing with the uh, pupil shadow. Go Gaussian blur. I'm just going to pick the six here that's usually standard. And we get a good kind of coloring here. Uh, what I usually, this is the easy version by the way, uh, and to top it off we're gonna do this. We're gonna go above inks and I'm gonna call it I white and just put it on normal 100%. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is that I'm actually gonna go and pick a white color and uh, just put the G pen. Since we're on top of everything now, I'm going to put a big circle right about here, a round circle and a smaller circle somewhere around there. We're going to go to Gaussian Blur and boom. Now this is the very simple uh, eye coloring that I usually do when uh, it's a medium shot or maybe somewhere farther away. Uh, not like this, this is a very close up uh, image now. Uh, but for those medium, those small shots, I don't usually do much detail in the eye because too much detail can, you know, focus uh, the attention on the eyes instead of perhaps what's happening in the image. But this is the, uh, the easy version, so to speak, okay? Uh, but now that we have done the easy version, let's put some more detail into this, okay? So we're gonna go back in. And we're gonna go and do above pupil layer. No, let's do it beneath. Let's do it beneath. And we're gonna go and put a green SD. Okay. We're gonna put multiply and we're gonna go down to 30. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and actually just pick the color from the pupil. So we have it on multiply. So it's going to become green on green, but we have it on multiply and 30% opacity. So what's going to happen now is we're going to take a lighter pencil, which is a more uh, blurred soft brush. Okay, and I'm going to go down to around 50 in brush, brush, brush density. And I'm going to pick a kind of big brush. Okay, and as you can see, I'm going to go slowly working on here. And we don't get much result, but you can see here if we put uh, the multiply higher up. And maybe we should put uh, some more into it. Let's let's do this. We're going to delete this layer. Uh, my bad. We're going to do, do it over again. Green SD. We're going to do multiply. We have the green. Let's put some darker green into it. Apparently it didn't want to do what I wanted to do, uh, but let's keep it 100 for now just so we get a very strong effect and you can see here that what I'm doing now is I'm going to the outer sides, you know, just at the edge of the eye. I'm going like this. I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to go do the same thing just, you know, in the middle here. So we get like this and we're gonna go once more just round the eye like this okay uh, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go right click on the layer and put it on clip it layer below so it doesn't go outside of the green area uh, and I'm gonna lower the opacity to around yeah let's do 40 40 would work yeah as you can see, we get a more you know effect here, and I'm gonna go and do a layer above that, and we're gonna call it green light. And I'm gonna pick the color of the green. I'm gonna do a little bit lighter, and we're gonna take the light brush again, and I'm just gonna go like this, just the like a big U, okay. I'm not going to go into the top and I'm going to take a little bit lighter again, smaller brush and I'm going to go just here. So you can see we get a glowing effect and I'm going to go to blur, Gaussian blur and for this I'm raising it up to around 10 so we get 
kind of a blurry effect there. And we're gonna go and to add or maybe add glow. Yes, add glow. And I'm gonna lower it to around 20 will work. As you can see, we get some glow into the eye, uh, which is good. Uh, usually you want to try uh, and get some details in the eye. I am not that kind of a guy, but just for you guys, I'm gonna try and do it. Uh, so we're gonna go with a darker green here. I'm gonna take a smaller brush. Um, usually what you can do is, you know, get some lines like this just to get some iris detail in the pupil. Uh, usually I don't do this because, well, it doesn't look good when I do it and there's a lot of methods you can do it with and not all of them are great, especially not mine. And I would say that it doesn't look good always when I do it. So I try to <laughs> stay away from it. Uh, but you can see here we get uh, some sort of effect here. Uh, let's put these together, combine, there we go, multiply, maybe some color burn, no, not color burn, darken. You can see here you can do some details and stuff like that. But usually I try to keep it clean, so I usually take away all those kinds of details. Uh, and as you can see, you can try and work with it. Uh, maybe more blur on the pupil shadow. So you get a soft shadow. The green light, same thing there. Try to make it so it isn't as strong. I usually go with a lot of blur when it comes to, to the eyes to make it very soft. And as you can see, we get a kind of a good shadow here going. We have the shadow on the eyelid, we have the shadow on the pupil, we have some shadow going into the eye. But like I said, uh, usually I only do this because I feel it's good enough. It doesn't have to be uh, as complicated as anything else. It's just It just has to be like this. Sometimes I like to do uh, this, which is I take the simple design and I just put a little bit of a glow around the eye like this. Let's see, we can go here like that. I think that will work. And I'm gonna go just do a Gaussian blur and then I'm gonna go to add glow. You can see here we get a kind of effect. Sometimes you want the overlay but for this I'm gonna go with add glow and I'm gonna lower it down to around say 15 so sometimes I do this just to get a kind of a glow around the center around here but as you can see otherwise I keep it very simple uh, try to just keep it you know very calm not too much because the focus here is not the eye, and sometimes when you do too much detail into the eye, the rest of the image gets lost because this area, the eye area, is only detailed and the rest is perhaps a little bit more simple. But for like close-ups, yeah, you could definitely go and go nuts with everything. You can do lots of different shadings and lightnings, you can have some texture perhaps, and uh, let's see if we have a good texture we can find. Um, I'm gonna go to my texture folder and let's see. Do we have a texture that looks kind of cool? Uh, I'm gonna take... Do I have something that looks good? Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is probably where, where you should almost have like a space. So something like this perhaps. This could be something cool. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna copy that. And we're gonna go. And let's see. Green. There we go. And I'm gonna put the texture here. And 
let's see what we can do with this. So let's transform it and make it a little bit like such. And I only want it for the pupil. So let's go like this. And then we're gonna go with, yeah, you can see what you can do already. We can get some nice stuff in there. Uh, let's see here, screen. Yeah, and then you can just, oh, we can do it like this. No, leave me alone, here we go. And layer settings, clip it layer below. Boom, and you only have the texture in the eye. Now I put it on color dodge. There's some glow dodge, soft light, hard light. And you can see, you can play around with it. And uh, we could lower the opacity a little bit. Here you go, to like a 30. You can see some details, see some of our shadows. Vivid light. And you can play around, just test things, you know, to to get uh, a good a good coloring. And uh, let's see, color dodge wants the not the best. Which one was the best? Okay, let's go with hard light. So you can see, you can play around, you can remove it just to get. A desired effect because when you zoom out this is 50 you can see here sometimes it's too much and sometimes it's just better to have something more simple yeah so I hope you have learned something today uh, as always let me know what you want to learn uh, I, I'm here for you so if you want me to make a video about something please ask me in the comment section below and I will see you in the next tutorial video Bye!